so we are going to where are we going, Bella? The melting pot. Melting pot, if you guys have never been. I don't know what they have. Alright, I have turned my Instagram and comments back on for the boys. Time? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. He's the coolest card I've ever seen. Do you remember last time when they were all tweaking models about the bed being made? Despair, loneliness, anguish, agony. Ah! Caught up to speed. Wheel of Mutt season two was going amazing until we hit the wild card playoff and lost a narrow 35 to 32 game. That reset my entire lineup and took us into season three. And season three thus far has been excellent. We've only gotten 81 overall team, but we are two and zero. Oh. Game one was a awesome victory in the final seconds, and game two was a piece of cake. And that leads us to today, game three of season three, where we will be looking to fill some of the holes on this roster. Notably, my starting halfback is a 78 overall Fred Taylor. That's not good. Almost my entire O-line is still silvers. We have no fullback. We have no backup tight end. My wide receivers are really good with Jamar Chase. And then it's 82 Megatron and 81 Yoshi, who I was super excited to add to this team. Defensively, my linebackers are okay. My safeties are awesome. I have a Steelers secondary. Joey Porter's really good, but Sullivan and James B are trash. And my D-line's okay. Okay, I'm missing a D tackle. Nick Bosa still needs an upgrade. Jonathan Allen's amazing and Bruce Smith has been really good. By the way, 49ers fans, how are you guys feeling right now? How do you guys feel about Brock Purdy? Is Mr. Irrelevant actually irrelevant? I'm recording this video on Monday morning before the Lions play, but I'm already certain they smacked the Raiders. And yes, I know Halloween has passed. But I'm keeping Tito until Thanksgiving. Don't even ask about it. Ooh, we got a legend today. This is exactly what Bruce Smith is. He's an 88 legend. New legends have come out. There are higher overall ones. This is specifically the 88 legend. I can get full Megatron. There's Charles Woodson, who we've had previously. Shannon Sharp. Demarcus Ware. Michael Vick. There are two 88 limiteds, though. There's Brian Finneran and Antonio Cromartie. I'm kind of tempted to go Antonio Cromartie. And there's Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis would have been fun, dude. He would have been cute. Killer. It would have been killer, killer, killer. Yes, I'm funny. I'm so funny. Ne Michael, Michael Vick and dogs. Ray Lewis, death, kill. Uh, Henry Ruggs, drive fast. Um, um, Aaron Hernandez. Antonio Cromartie, 88 speed, 87 excels, 6 foot 2, 90 man, 90. Ooh, he's nasty. 400,000 coins for Antonio Cromartie. It's okay. Quick sells for 350K. It's a 50,000 coin rental. Antonio Cromartie. We're beefing up that secondary. It definitely needs it. We'll put Joey Porter at that starting slot and Antonio Cromartie at corner two. And then I think I got to move James Pierre to now my corner three. Defensive upgrade to start out. I like this, boys. Can we get a halfback though? This has got to be the longest I've ever gone in a Wheel of Month season with. How can a halfback? Like, I always get on episode one or episode two. There's got to be, right? Do we give Josh Allen digs? I kind of want to do this. Jamar and digs with Josh Allen at quarterback. You know, Bills fans, as much as I want to go digs, I already have Josh Allen for you. I'm going to go team of the week, 88 overall Tyree Kill. He's got 90 speed. And Tyree Kill is the first player in NFL history to get 1,000 receiving yards in eight games. Hey, 88 overall team of the week. Tyreek Hill. Dude, you could give Tyreek Hill a team of the week card almost every week. Shit is nuts. All right, y'all. Third and final spin. Still need O-line. Still need linebackers. I also still need a halfback. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Well, I think we're getting a running back. I think we are definitely getting a running back. Chris McCaffrey has an 89 shit. overall AKA card called Run CMC. So for this wheel spin, we get the low Chris McCaffrey, the 82 overall. He's kind of a bum. But if we can score a touchdown with him, he gets pack a punch to his best possible version, the 89 overall. Tyreek Kill's going in for Yoshi, and Yoshi's going to go in for Megatron. So Yoshi's now wide receiver three. Tyreek Hill is wide receiver two. Jamar Chase, wide receiver one. And I'll move Megatron wide receiver four. 
Offensive line is still pitiful, but we do have Evan Neal. We got to get McCaffrey in the end zone today. And then Antonio Cromartie is beefing up that defense. And, you know, I'm talking about my outside linebackers. Yeah, Thomas and Kuma is absolute dog water. But we did add Quay Walker from a pack at the end of last episode. And don't forget, dude, this Quay Walker is so good. Quay Walker, 6'4", 242, 85 speed, 87 excel. Really, we're only missing significantly a left outside linebacker. Thomas and Kuma is, is absolutely horrible. And don't you dare forget about the chance. Challenge wheel, baby. Challenge wheel. What do you got for me? QBR? Ooh. This is like, uh, I call this a jinx challenge because when I think about it, I never get it. But there'll be these games where I'll just go to the end and I'll look at my QBR and it's just 158.3. I have to get Josh Allen and 140 QBR or better. He's got, hey, that's the CMC. That's the CMC we're going for. It's literally so obvious what I'm doing here, but let's see if it works anyway. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, Gronk fled the safety. I actually had an opportunity. All right, we'll take a clean five, though. I'm switching to the opposite side because he shifted his line. Go, Gronk. Go, Gronk. Hey! Dude, imagine being a DB and seeing full speed Gronk just flying at you with no shot he's running around. We're attacking the middle. We got one more Vanguard rep. There goes Gronk. That's a power run team, baby. Let's keep things simple and smart and throw lasers. Oh, oh, that's a DB. That is not a linebacker. That's a DB. Oh, I see Gronk in a seam. I have McCaffrey underneath, but I don't really have to take... Oh my God, I could throw RB. Little play action. There's... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Ooh, I think it's man, but Jamar Chase was built for that. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. What's going to get McCaffrey in the end zone against man? Best case scenario, we throw a touchdown to McCaffrey right now. I don't know if this is possible. Oh, my God. It might be. <laughs> oh, we're right there. We're right there. We're right there. Honestly, this run is too free. I got to take it with McCaffrey. <laughs> that jump in. That new jump animation is such horse shit. They jump so high. Okay. We got McCaffrey's challenge done. So if we win the game, we get the 89 overall McCaffrey now, which is amazing. The only concern right now is I'm not getting Josh Allen any QBR like that. Going for two because I don't give a shit. And I'm going to run behind my silver O-line because nobody can fucking stop me. Okay. Somebody can stop me. Let's go. Let's see what Lamar's got. Lamar throws up. Oh, third inches, though. Is he going to run this? No. Oh, check down to CMC, and that's the one we want. Uh-oh, 10 is open. Uh-oh, so with 17, he's huge. Oh, it's Harold Carmichael, bro. He made James Pierre look like he was 5'5". Five five. That Harold Carmichael legend just came out, bro. That motherfucker's like 6'7", six 6'8". Six half back, half back, half back. Oh, okay. Test him again, James Pierre! And Antonio Cromartie. They're, they're calling that Antonio Cromartie. I don't know if that's accurate. I'm on CMC. He's got nothing! Anthony Walker gets home! He's going five wide. I'm guessing pass. Okay, we just gotta follow Carmichael. You can spot that guy a mile away. Look at how fucking big he is. I think he's sitting there right next to Tyreek Hill. Look at this, dude. These guys play the same position in the NFL. Lasers one to Kyle Pitts now. It's fourth and six. Does he know how to do the same thing? Yes, that's fine. I'm gonna pretend to guard that now. Pretending to guard Kyle Pitts. Now I come back to Tyreek. Fuck, he's too fast! Yup! Yup! Hey, let's go. I sent all out blitz for that. Dude, I'm reading him. Like, I'm making the correct calls, but he's still getting it. No. I don't know. I don't know how he did it. So he is going for it. Hey. Oh, is that Nick Bosa? Nick Bosa got home. So he went for two, and he also doesn't get it. He could have taken his one-point lead right there, but he wanted to be greedy. What's he got? Does he come off that for Gronk? No. Gronk barely beat his man coverage, but not really. If it's still man coverage, let's hit Jamar Chase. Ooh. Dude, they covered that really well, though. For that being a whip route. Oh, and we did get the first. I was about to say, Yoshi. Yoshi, get your body in there. Push that pile. First and 10, we're going to go no huddle here. Ah. Hey, McCaffrey turns that into six. Ooh, that's a bad ball, Josh Allen. Third and 10. Gronk with a gorgeous whip route. Dude, I love how I love how Gronk runs one of the best whip routes on this team. I'm gonna run the exact same thing. First and 10, I'm gonna get that QBR up. Dude, 
It's too money. Is he not fucking playing? I hate people like this, bro. I hate people like this. Why are you on? I would say without a doubt, Madden 24, online head to head. No matter whether I play regulars or competitive or placements is the most, it's never been shittier. This guy's not even at his fucking Xbox. Oh, okay, here we go. Now he's playing. That's the first time I've seen him even move around. Money. Oh my god, you're kidding. That was knocked out? 9-6, to six, Jamar drops the ball. I don't know what it is this year. Somebody was telling me they changed the rewards for head-to-head -head or something, so there's no penalty for quitting, or maybe it's the five-minute quarters, I don't know, but, like, look, now he's, he's not gonna call a return play either. He's gonna wait until his computer calls a return play. It's crazy, too, because he's got a good team, and, like, this would be a really good game if he would just fucking play. Okay, well, he's here now. He did that return manually. He's here. He's going to throw a check down to CMC, second and four. He's using the entire clock to do whatever this play is. He's going to wait till one second. He's going to take a delay game. Fuck you, bro. Throw CMC, tackle by Bates. Does he, is he even aware of the clock? Does he even know? Dude, fuck you. But he's got two timeouts on him. It's halftime. Bitch. <laughs> That's what I fucking thought. I need, I need the satisfaction of winning this game. I think I'm, dude, you know what's crazy about this game though is I've got my CMC challenge. I definitely have my QBR. No interceptions through that right over his user's head. And now he's not gonna pick his play. He's gonna make the whole 30 seconds go and then I can kick it. And now when I kick off, he won't select a return. He's gonna use the entire 30 seconds. Dude, maybe we, nope. No, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. What do you think? Do you think we made him mad? You think the, the double showboat pissed him off and now he wants to play? He either hits CMC really early or he looks for... Oh my God, no way you did that to me twice. You're a bum, dude. Who gave you that 88 overall team? Third and 12, he's found his he's found his defense. He's gonna run spinner. I have a feeling that Jamar Chase is gonna ruin this. If this is still spinner, I think that that Jamar Chase whip route is gonna make this, might even be a touchdown. Oh my God. Oh my God. Go, go, go. Ah, he's one. No, I need the Josh Allen QBR. Can I just do it again? I think I can just do it again. Go. He's there. No, no, the pressure got to me. Normally, I would just want to leave this game and go get an actually good game for Wheel of Mutt. I think we have the challenge wheel and CMC. I want to take advantage. Oh, he's going to try and float. Whip route. What a ball. There is a guy coming all over his face. Jamar Chase still finishes. Boys, I want you to create a gaping wide hole that Christian McCaffrey can fill with everything he's got. Oh, I really thought that was there. I got some QB containing. Oh, just kidding. It was perfect right there. Shit, that is so open. Joey Porter. I couldn't catch him and he actually scored. Just a little hitch to Kyle Pitts. It's 14 to 22. Although I didn't expect him to play. Now he's playing. And now he's onside kicking. Oh my God, we're really playing. Oh my God, he dropped that. Oh no, he didn't. Holy shit, I thought he dropped that. Gronk across the middle, dodging the user because he's absolute dog shit. He's running spinner. He's running it nice and close. Jamar Chase fucking torched him. Oh, now you want to play. Oh, you want to lock in in the fourth quarter now to get your cheesy little W. I got to sit through all these fucking loading screens for you. And now you think you're just going to lock in and catch a dub? Snap with the one second left. Holy shit. My silver O-line's getting dominated, obviously. And now I'll snap it on my time. Third and 11. This will get us... I will. I'll get all the way to the two-minute warning. And then I can kick it at the two-minute warning. RPO zone peak. Not reading that. Just handing it off to Derek Parrish. Who almost took that bitch? Oh, let's go. This clock will milk down to the two minute warning. We'll let it hit. Then McPherson can drill this. I can lie though, bro. When Kyle Pitts walked that touchdown in, I'm looking at the score 14 to 22. I was a little nervous. First and 10. I'm going to go follow the corner route out of Kyle Pitts. That's what he torched me with last time. Checking down to CMC. He's going to go out of bounds. That's definitely the right play. I just don't want him thinking he can do that again. Hey! 
getting up there. Antonio Cromartie. I need to be in a formation that looks like it could be a blitz. Ooh, what a good play. We are stuck in the mud because I guess pass. I did not expect that. This is what's so fucked up. This could have been a good game the whole game, but he wanted to do this bullshit where he'd milk as much time as he can out of the third quarter and then just decide to play. Might be too little too late for him, though. He does retain his three timeouts. Oh, wow. What a tough catch. Got hit hard by Jesse Bates. Tyreek hangs on. 22-25. Let's wait. Does he onside it? I don't have to select this until he selects a kick. Oh, he's kicking off. Okay. All right, first and 10. Just Gronk underneath and then McCaffrey the other side because I think he's going to follow Gronk. That's exactly what I was looking for. Beautiful second and four. He should call a timeout here. Jamar Chase? Down the middle? Jamar Chase? 18 for 25, 270, and two touchdowns for Josh Allen. The irony is just beautiful here. He's going to lose to Chew Clock. God, you're dog shit. Yeah, how's Spinner working out for you, buddy? Josh Allen on the tush push. Josh Allen on the tush push. And he's gonna quit. Oh, get fucked, idiot. Oh my God, I, I hate players like you so much. And it feels so good for me to rob you of, of that cheese victory you thought you were gonna get. Oh, oh. It doesn't get any better than this, boys. All right, we need to talk about this for a second, though. So what just happened here? Challenge wheel-wise, he doesn't even, like, give me the satisfaction to, like, go look at my stats at the end. You really had to get to the lobby that much quicker. You, you weren't at your controller first three quarters. You need to get to the lobby quicker? You're not even gonna play your next fucking game. You're gonna sit there and do the same thing. Okay, what was Josh Allen? He had 279 yards passing, and he had two touchdowns. 19 attempts, 26 attempts, 19 completions. He was 18 for 25, and then I threw to Jamar. 19 for 26. Yeah, 19 for 26. The QBR is... Oh, no. No! Okay, this is calculating. This is calculating his QBR as 133.33. So I don't think I got... You know what? No, fuck this guy. I'm, I'm considering my challenge will complete. I don't care. For my pack, I'm sticking with the promo sphere packs. That Quay Walker was a dog, so... Who is scared of Jimmy G? Maybe porn stars or something. He's so handsome. That's about it. Get Russell Gage, Jimmy G. I can't. Hey, let's talk about the good, though, boys. Let's talk about the real good, which is our first touchdown. Down, went to Christian McCaffrey. Dude, I knew it. I should have thrown that first touchdown. I shouldn't have ran it in. Run CMC. We got the touchdown with the 82, and now we actually have a halfback. 88 speed, 90 excel. But the coolest thing about this card, he's already a really, really good card, but he has a special ability because he's an AKA player, and his is unique because I'm pretty sure it just stays on the whole game. I don't even know if it has a charge up. Disregard all my nonsense talk. In reality, this is first one free. Get a high fake out rate on the next juke spin or hurdle probably not gonna be spinning or hurdling so that's really just a high fake out rate on the next juke see we're at a point where gronk's vanguard is so useless that i probably do give cmc running back apprentice here i'm gonna do it i'm gonna give him running back apprentice and we're sadly at a point where we're gonna take vanguard off of gronk i just don't have enough formations in this playbook to actually utilize him all right gentlemen we finally got ourselves a hat back antonio cromarty is locked in as well along with team of the week tyree kill he really didn't get to do much sadly but i do need to move him to my return man so it's not rakeem jarrett tyree kill can get some reps in here i like that those first couple of quarters might have been annoying but i tell you what boys oh, that's a satisfying w oh that felt good we've got room for improvement and we're doing great i love you boys thanks for watching as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace